friends so as I mentioned in the last video and I'm going to show you how to color my project to your local computer and uh, do it with uh, a tool called clasp okay so it will be a very quick video today so so first of all uh, you can check uh, this uh, instructions here all right so it requires some tools installed in your computer first one you need to install the node on computer and of course you need to install this class and the last one is is the git you need to install this git to column my project to your local computer all right so uh, if you don't know how to install them you can check the links here it will, it will bring you to the, the page and in their page they will show you how to install them I'm not going to do, do them here so I'm so let me show you if you are if you have three of them installed on computer you should be able to, to check them so now the third version and uh, clasp third version and the last one is git dash dash version so you should be able to see the version if you are you if you have them installed on your computer so let's clear this so once you have all of them installed you can start this quick guide here so the first step is to color my project or the branch of my project to your lo local directory so to do that you can use this command so you basically use this git column so any uh, github repository URL and put it here to do that if you only want to column the branch you can do this so git column dash b uh, represent the dash, dash dash branch the branch name and the URL of the github repository okay so let me try to this git column so let me see what folder I am here so I'd like to go to my desktop so I go to CD desktop so now I'm in the desk I'm, I'm in desktop uh, I'd like to column this repository to my desktop okay just to do a demo for you guys so let me do this column first so here in this code button once you click this code button you should be able to copy this URL so you copy this URL and then you run this git column um, and uh, paste so git column URL and enter okay so it's going to call on this project to my desktop okay now here I have the desktop on my desktop I have this folder created so it's done here let's let's go to this uh, this folder so in your terminal you need to if you check your desktop so you have a folder called gas uh, view material template so you see the gas so now you are in this folder if you list the files of this folder as you can see here you have the files and folders in this uh, project so let's clear this so i'd like to open this this folder in terminal uh, not in terminal in the VS Code editor to show you how the files uh, to show you the files and uh, to do it do it in the the terminal the integrated terminal in the VS Code you also can do it here it's not a issue not a big issue so let's code let's open the folder in the VS Code So you don't have to do it in the VS Code. You can do it here. You can do all of them here. So actually, let me do it here, just in case you don't have VS Code installed. All right. So 
basically this template, this project is a view material template for the web app. It's a web app template. Okay. So if you're trying to do a web app with, with view, you can make a copy of this template. Because I think I was going to use this uh, template a lot. So I made a template like this. So if you check this template here, we have a very simple home page and uh, we have a very sim uh, simple form in this template. And uh, there is a demo app here. You can check it out. So this is the demo app. So once you copied my uh, column, my project to your local directory, so here, like this, all the files are located here. So here is a template app here. Okay, we have a form, and we have a home page, and you can add more features for your application. Okay, so let's close it for now. So the first step is done. You call on my project to your, long, to your local directory. And there's the next step, you need to create a new project, a new app script project on your Google Drive. So let's go to my Google Drive and create a project. So for this one, it's a, it's a Google Sheet project. Okay. So if you check my my project, my Google Apps Script project. For each project, I think I have a, I have an Apps Script type for them. If you check this one, 058, I think I have the Apps Script type. So basically this Apps Script type is the script is a file type. So if it's a Google form, that means the, the app script should be placed in a Google form. So if it's a Google Sheet, you need to create a Google Sheet and then you add the script to that to that sheet. Okay? So for this one, for this one it's a Google Sheet. So that's why I need to create a Google Sheet. Let's create a Google Sheet and let's check what we're going to do. So once you create the Google Sheet, you need to get the script ID of your project. All right, so it's pretty slow. Let's rename this and uh, class demo. And once you created the file, you can go to the menu tools and the script editor to open the project, the script, uh, the app script project for this brush sheet. Okay, once you open it, you, in, you need to rename this project. Last demo. And uh, you need to make a copy of the script ID it's still saving so once you save it you go to files project properties you should be able to find the ID here you also can get the ID from the URL okay you have uh, both options so once you get the ID you need to go to the folder So you need to go to this folder and uh, open this. Uh, actually, the file is hidden. I think the file is hidden. So if I open my VS Code editor, I have a file called .class.json. So I think it's hidden on my, it's hidden from my folder here. Okay, so you need to replace this ID. So by default, by default, the ID is is a the file source is a source file ID of my of my Google Drive. So you need to replace it with your with a new ID of your files. So I will just uh, replace it and save it. So now it's done. I think the step step two and step three 
that mid track. So step two, get the ID. Step three, you replace the ID. All right. So once you do, once you have the this step done, you need to log in with Clasp. So let's go back to the terminal. So make sure you are in this folder, okay? You are in the folder you're working on. So Clasp. I need to log out first because I think I already logged in. So log out. Clasp login. So it will bring you to this page and uh, you need to do its authorization for the app to access your data. Okay. What is wrong? Okay, I need to reload this page, I think. I found the network is pretty bad recently, I don't know why. Maybe the, the firewall is uh, up, upgrading, upgrading, I don't know. So, got this page. Allow. So if you see this message, and uh, you go, if you go back to the terminal, where is my terminal? And uh, you see a message like this in your terminal. That means you are logging. So if you check, if you do a very quick check, clasp, clasp, login, dash dash status, I think. This should work works very fine on your computer if you are not in China. I think uh, network is not very good here because of the Google Google service. I think so. Now, as you can see, I have logged in. So now we can do the step step four and so step five. Step four. So once you log in successfully, you can push your local file to your project to your online project. So. This is online project. There is on, there is only one file here, and with a, a template function here. So let's push the data here. So class push. So it's going to push all the files in this folder, all the valid files. I, I'd like to say so. Not all the files are pushed to this online project because some files are not valid for the for this online project. It will going to be ignored. So yes. You get a this question because the manifest file by default we have a manage manifest file. If we go to the view, show manifest file. Okay, now we have all files here. So by default, the manu uh, manifest file is not like this because there is no web app. That's why you get this question here. So you just select yes and override them. So you maybe need to modify something if you are not in the same time area, same time zoom with mine. So you can change it here. All right. So as you can see, I have all the files here. And if I do something, do, do something change, and uh, you can open the the project here in this command line tool. Okay, clasp open. So this we're going to open the the script file just like this one. Okay, let me close this one. And this is exactly the same one. As you can see, all the files are added here. But uh, if you notice that there is no folders here, but there is a forward slash. So this is if there is a forward slash in the file name, the file will be separated 
will be separated in the folder. So as you can see, we have CSS forward slash cloak and CSS forward slash main. So if we go back to the file, I'm sorry, it's, it's time for the cat to, to, fit, to, to do the lunch. Uh, not the lunch, the dinner, dinner time. <laughs> okay, so the CSS, uh, so this is the main CSS v cloak. So this is how the class handles the files and the structures like that, okay? So you don't need to worry about it. So let me do a change and try to and try to pull the changes from the the online uh, online editor to the local the local files. So let me do a function in this this guess. Let's do a function. Uh, let's do a test function here. So as console log something. Clasp works. Okay, I just add a function here on uh, in this online editor, and if I'd like to get this update and uh, pull this update to my local folders, how ca how can I do that? I can just a simple class pull. Okay. So we're going to pull all the files from the, uh, the online editor and uh, override the files on, on my computer. So now as you can see, column the 11 files. And if I go back to the file editor and check the file, this one, as you can see here, I have this update. And since I, 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 I'm in this GitHub, a repository and I can highlight like this. All right. So that, that shows me there is a modification here. This is the new stuff. All right. I think I've covered all the basics. So it basically, you can do some update here, and uh, you can upload them. And then in the same way, if you do some modification in the file in the your, on your local, maybe I, I can delete this one and save it. And uh, I can push this, these changes to the online, uh, online editor. So if I push them, so now I have pushed 11 files. And if I try to open it, clasp, open. So I open, open the file. I should not see this uh, test function. So in this comment, comment, there is no test function there. So if I refresh this page, you should, you should see the same result. Cat, cat. Okay, it's pretty slow, but you will see the result. Yes, the test function is gone. So I think that's all for today's video. And uh, as there are more commands in this tool, so you need to check the details if you'd like to know more. So you can deploy the your project uh, with this tool as well because there is a lot of more functions. I just covered the, the basics. So you can make a copy of my file to your local uh, computer and uh, deploy and uh, upload them to your online uh, online project. So the, I just only covered the basics. So if you need to learn more about this tool, you please go to this page. Uh, you have a very detailed information here. All right. so. So I think that's it for the day. So I see you next time. Bye bye.